So we're continuing our preview of this weekend's Ulster Junior Football Championship final. And I'm delighted to say from uh, Shannon Side FM and a man that knows a lot about football in the, the Cavan area, Damien O'Donoghue joins us. Good to see you, Damien. Yeah, you too, Oshin. Great, to, great to be on. Yeah, great to be on. It's great to be talking football a week before Christmas, isn't it? I tell you what, I, I, I do tell people, you ask me, I describe myself as a GA and nut, and, and how do you describe yourself? Well, my Christmas dinner is spent talking about football, so that's 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 <laughs> where, where we go all year round. Uh, well, listen, hey, up here, uh, Damien, if I start to talk about football, the Christmas dinner, I'd be told to shut up very, very quick now. Maybe the one day of the year we're not allowed to talk about football in my house. But, but anyway, we've an Ulster final to look forward to this weekend. Uh, tell us a bit about Dan. Tell us a wee bit about the club from County Cabin. Who are they? What are they? Yeah, so Den is they're they're located in a, a village called Cross Keys. The pitch will be in, in, in Cross Keys, about 10, 15 minutes outside of Cavan Town on the Battle of James Duff side. They're 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 a side that had a meteoric rise and, and kind of fall. They, they came up from intermediate in the late nineties up to senior level. In 2008, 2009, they contested a senior final um, or two finals against Cavan Gales. Were beaten on both occasions by a, a really strong Cavan Gales team, um, but then kind of started to gradually fall back. And then the the end of the I think it was around 2017, they got relegated down to intermediate, um, or maybe 18 into intermediate then straight down from intermediate into junior now they would have been expected at that stage to bounce straight back up again they had a couple of underage teams that were coming through that had had real good quality forwards on them and people would have said look at then win that junior and they'll push right back up again but they had a ropey couple of years they they stayed in junior for i think this is now their fourth year in junior and they're uh they're, they're finally kind of achieving their potential at this level um but they've they've uh they, look at under manager stephen baxter they've pushed on they've they've definitely got competitive they were in last year's junior final um which was actually played earlier this year played in august of this year they lost to templeport in that there are heavy favorites going into that game and um, but were, were, were pipped on the day by a better templeport side but they bounced back put in a really good uh, championship semi-final replay against Knock Bride, um, where where they blitzed them after a, a, a tight affair in the in the in the first day, and then they beat Drung in the county final to to pick up a deserved title. So, they're a they're a community that has suffered loss over the over the the, the course of the pandemic. There's been um, a lot of a lot of issues within the community. So the Cavan GA fraternity are very much behind them because it's 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 a feel good story in an area that needs a feel good story. Yeah, uh, and I suppose it's very similar to the position that that Downings are in because Downings went in against Sean McDermott's of Monaghan as underdogs in their game. Then uh, we're seen as underdogs against Desert Martin, the Derry side that was going to win this junior yeah. championship. So it was the underdogs in both that that came through, but. Um, up here, I know they're saying that Down are very strong, or Den are very strong, and Den will be the the favourites for 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 the for the title and for the match. And I'm sure you're the opposite to that down in that end, did not you? Without a doubt, straight away after the game uh, for for the for the podcast, I was talking to Stephen Baxter, the Den manager with Jerome Cairn, and, and his his words were, "Look at they're after beating uh, Sean McDermott, who are favourites for the championship. So for the Ulster championship, they were they're, they're bound to be favourites going into this one as well, and, and we're happy being underdogs. So both sides are happy to be underdogs, which means that nobody's an underdog. <laughs> it's yeah. uh, one of those situations. But I think they." The result, like Monaghan's history in this competition, is very, very strong. They're, they're 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 the most dominant side in the last decade in this in this competition, and they've had all Ireland winners come from it. So, um, that that is an eye catching result. But like like you said, everybody expected Desert Martin and, and Sean McDermott to be in this final, and then were deserving winners over Desert Martin. They were the better side on the day, and um, they they. Desert Martin done really well, curtailed a couple of the key forwards that then have, but what then have is a, a, a lot of forwards for a junior championship team. If you mark two of them really well, they have another two or, or even three that can step up and add in three, four, five points. You know, they're, they're, they're that capable. So I think that's their big advantage in, in, in then. Yeah. Can they get physical in the game? And what I mean by that is Sean McDermott's from Monaghan brought the physical factor of the game against Downings. Is that something Den can bring? Or is it all running and all football? 
No, it's 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 a mixture. Um, so if you if you think of their team, they've got a lot of runners, a lot of light pacey players, and 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 real good forwards. Um, and I say a lot that you know, there's probably six lads who would be very light on their feet, very nimble. But then they have Mossy Core at full back, who's ex county senior full back. Their captain, Beanie Gaffney, Michael Gaffney, his his brother, physical, robust players, Ushin Kiernan, that, that can mix it up as well. So they probably have a good enough balance that if they have to go to the trenches, they can go to the trenches. And um, kind of what what they've done this year is played a lot of different styles of football. So they, they played all out attack right through the, the group stages of the championship here. They were pressing teams high up the field. They were conceding quite a bit in doing so, but they, they always managed to outscore the opposition. Then in the drawn semi-final that I mentioned against Knockbride, it was that sort of an affair in the replay. What they did was they set up, brought, all bar four forwards back, crowded out the defence. Physically, they got they, they bullied Knockbride in that game. And once they turned over, they let the ball move forward into the spaces where they, the four forwards really done damage on that occasion. So um, they, they, they have the ability to mix it up, whether it be physical or it's it's a running game. So they're, they'll not be afraid of either kind of battle, in fairness to them. Uh, just finally then, the fact that it's been played in Clonus, big open pitch, Good surface there. Can we expect a high-scoring final, or is it going to be one of these real dog at Ulster games that low scoring and a, a real dog fight, Damien? Yeah, do you know what? The venue to me is, I, I was surprised at the venue when then got Desert Martin in Clonus, because from Cross Keys to Clonus is about, at maximum, it's a half an hour drive. Whereas I think Downing's down could be two hours down to Clonus. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm very surprised that, that that is the location and the fact that um, then have played their semi-final there. I think that's a big advantage. But to, to answer your question, I don't expect it to be high scoring, even though then have been high scoring throughout the Cavan Championship in Ulster, right? They put up a big score against Neve Cole, but I think Neve Cole tried to set up with a with a blanket defence and they hadn't done it before. They they didn't know really how to execute it. And after a, a, a wobbly first half where then hit eight wides, or first quarter actually where then hit eight wides, they they opened up the key and they just tore them apart. So um I I, I expect though Downing's better organized um have been low enough scoring or conceding low enough scores throughout the championship that I I think we could we could end up with uh, maybe nine, ten scores to win this game. Actually, yeah, and it has to finish in the day too, doesn't it? Don't run yeah. extra time. <laughs> it does. It does. Well, sure. It, it could ruin our Christmas dinner if it went. To, if it went to our or I say maybe make our Christmas dinner. Uh, Listen, we're looking forward to it. Uh, Demi, looking forward to seeing you again this Sunday as well in the in the press area in Clonus. Hopefully, we get a good game. Without a doubt. Thanks, Demi.